Good morning. I don't think we showed you our view yesterday in our Hawaii day one vlog. So I am out on our little balcony or lanai drinking my coffee and the view is gorgeous. And the waves are crashing just right up against the wall here. So we hear the waves 24 seven. It is beautiful, gorgeous, I love it. There's nothing like hearing the waves, especially when you're sleeping, it's so peaceful. It's about six o'clock in the morning right now. We have another early morning. We're headed to a really pretty lookout. I've never seen it before, but Dan says it's supposed to be really gorgeous, so I'm excited. But we wanted to get over there early and then beach hop our way back towards our condo, if that makes sense. We'll take you along with us and hopefully it'll be a fun, exciting day. And also relaxing because I feel like going from beach to beach, we can like sit, relax. I'm gonna bring my book. I love having coffee early in the morning when it's like super quiet, everyone's still asleep. Amazing perfect start to day two in Hawaii we are headed out let's see what our spider friend is doing this morning oh she is on a mission look at her where are you headed uh, on an adventure <laughs> hopefully a beach hopefully a beach somewhere. big beach day big beach day here we go we made it to do you know how to pronounce this place the YPO Valley lookout oh, let's go no. check it out whoa this is steep we made it from Kona to YPO Lookout. It took us about an hour and a half drive and it was gorgeous driving up here. It's, what time is it? Eight, 8.15 and we're like the only people here. We are the only people here. <laughs> yeah, early bird gets the worm. We're walking down to the lookout and this hill is so steep, which makes me think on the way back it'll be another booty workout. It is gorgeous and it's so clear. Yesterday was pretty like overcast. It was still gorgeous but there wasn't that much sun but today you can tell it's gonna be hot. The sun is already shining. It's so pretty. I'm setting up a shot for Dan and I to take a photo together. I think this is the hardest part about doing these things super early in the morning when no one is around because no one can take our picture. <laughs> so we're self-timering. We're doing the self-time. Does, does this look good? This looks perfect. Okay. <laughs> Insert the shot here. Hiking back up to the car. Danny's trying to figure out where we're going next. Hoping to locate a coffee at some point. Maybe a sweet treat. Breakfast. Yes. and a beach yes to all okay we just got to this cutie little food truck i'm so excited i'm gonna <laughs> order everything okay i can already see it let's go get it okay it's this little truck i know we just found it on the side of the road yeah, ah! i will always stop for a hot fried piece of dough We waited, how long did we wait? 10 minutes. We waited like 10 minutes, but no we didn't. We waited like 20 minutes to order and, anyways, worth the wait, look worth at this. It. We just got them, they are so hot. I wish you could smell these. We're headed to a beach just like four miles up the road to eat them. It's gonna take everything in me not to just devour these in the car, but we wanna eat them with a nice view, you know? We found the beach, we've got all of our stuff. Well, Dan has all of our stuff. You got the most important part. <laughs> I've got the malasadas, yeah. Good? Mm -hmm. Which one is that? This is the powdered sugar one. It's good, I like the ones that are just regularly coated with sugar. Ube cheesecake. Oh. Is it good? 100%. Filled with ube. The ube is perfect. Right amount, ube to dough ratio, spot on. We also got this cinnamon and sugar one, which tastes like a churro, doesn't it? it yeah, definitely... it's like a giant churro ball. Mm. This one's my favorite one. Yeah, I was gonna say that one's probably my favorite too. This is the best one. Look how fluffy that is in there. It's so good. If you missed our Hawaii day one vlog, we also got malasadas in that video too. And if I had to compare between the Punalu'u Bakery versus this, Manuela malasadas. Yeah, I would have to go for these for these sure. Are, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, the other ones are great yesterday too. Mm, these are way better. You think so? Yeah, they're crispier, they're yeah, hot, they're, they're warm. warm. Yeah. These are way better. 
Uh, I don't know if it was a move to eat hot donuts on a hot beach though. It's always a move. You think? It's not a bad idea. <laughs> it was a good idea in theory, idea. but sweltering out here and the donuts are still piping hot, so. Yolo. to the car we were there for like an hour I want to say it got so hot and one of our umbrellas wasn't working so we were down to one umbrella and then our umbrella flew away and it was just like a lot so <laughs> plus didn't you don't you think it got so crowded yeah. it's a very popular beach so it started to get super crowded but very beautiful our next stop is to find a little store because we need some more sunscreen and we need some more fresh water she needs water. water. All right, well, we never made it to the store, but we found this really cute little beach. It's like less than a mile up the road from the beach we were previously at, Waimea Bay. It's actually like on the same property, it looks like. Like it's all part of Hapuna Beach, but this is like another section of it. There's lots of snorkelers out there, so I think Dan is assessing the water. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go in and snorkel. But I'm just happy that we found some shade. And the breeze is so nice. Danny, you gonna go snorkeling? Yeah. What happened? You were only out there for like three seconds. The water's super rough and it's kicking up all the, the sand at the bottom so it's not very clear. Oh. There's some fish out there though. A couple of big ones. It's probably we'll wet. Yeah, that's why I didn't put on my stuff and go out there. Oh, totally. It's a little you, rough. She knew. It's a little rough for me. Yeah. <laughs> it is windy. Uh, we made it to yet another beach. What number of beach is this for us today? Uh, three. <laughs> I think this is our third beach. Maybe our last beach for the day. You think so? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe one more. It would be nice to go. It it, I don't even know what time it is to be honest Two, either. Maybe? Uh, we hit the reset button though, we got some fresh water. And now we yes. have our... Water, towels, chairs. Except Dan's making me carry my own chair this oh, time. Oh god, so heavy. <laughs> you think this is boring for them, watching us go from beach to beach? I mean, no, <laughs> I would hope not. We're <laughs> well, trying to show you the beauty well, of the beach. Yeah, I mean, it's freaking gorgeous here. Today, today was kind of a late, after yesterday's long day of being in the car, yeah. I think we deserved a day to just be chop. Be chop. Yeah, but I'm I want to I want to turn up with some shaved ice. It is it is really crowded, so I'm probably not going to film a bunch because I don't want to film people in their bathing suits. But it's very gorgeous. Today's been a whirlwind. We went back to the condo, got dressed. Not really. I literally put the same outfit on I had on earlier. We're on vacation. We're headed to dinner right now, and I didn't even bring my big camera. I'm just vlogging on my phone. Are you even hungry? I'm starving. Really? We are you kidding? We haven't eaten anything all day. I want a shaved ice. Wow, that's after. <laughs> dinner and went straight for shaved ice. Sorry, had to. It's so hot and this is so good. This is hitting the spot right now. If you watched our day one Hawaii vlog, this blows our shaved ice on day one out of the water. Yeah, but you don't want to blow out their name. This is where it's at. This is Scandinavian shaved ice. Yeah. Talk to me about what this. What do you know about that soft serve center? That looks amazing. Pineapple vanilla soft serve, just like a bisque of it inside. And you put uh, what's on top? It looks like tahin. But it's leaking powder. Which is it's like a so it's like a plum. Sweet. It's like a sweet and sour plum. I got blue raspberry finally with tiger's blood mochi and a sweet and condensed snow cap. That's what I get every single time. It is now day three. 
the next day. The next day. <sighs> we had such a lazy morning and now we're on the hunt for some acai bowls because that sounds so good right now. Sounds perfect. Uh, I think this is it right here. Right there. Acai, acai Hawaii. <sighs> I'm gonna get the biggest one. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so this place is so cute. It's a tiny little spot near our condo. Uh, we walked there and it was, it's so good. Like it's so good. I mixed it all together and the key is that peanut butter drizzle. It's an add-on, but it's so good. Like so good. And look at this view. It's like the perfect Hawaii breakfast. And then after this, I think we're gonna hit up a beach. Mm, it's really good. What'd you get on yours? Strawberry, banana, extra goji berry, honey, peanut butter, granola. Amazing. I don't think there's anything better than like a fresh fruit breakfast with this incredible view. With a view? A slow morning? Yeah. Time what time up. is it? Let's see. I don't even know. It's 9.30. Definitely a slow morning. Slow morning. Well worth it. Cheers. We are driving through a lava rock field to get to this beach. And it is so bumpy. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. That's what Dan says. Can you make it? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> We've only got a mile to go. All right, so we're walking through a lava rock field to get to this beach. Dan found this beach and it warned us that it was pretty like strenuous to get there, To I guess. get there by car, but we made it. We made it halfway by car and then we had to get out of the car. Now we have to go the rest Shrek on foot. Across this lava field, which it's not too bad because you can see the beach. So yeah, you can at least, see. You know, there's an end. You're headed in the right direction. Yes. Um, but we have very limited stuff with us. We don't have our beach chairs, beach umbrella. Towels <laughs> and water. Towels and water. More do you need? And you, so we're taking you with us. Let's go find this beach. I can't, the, I the mean, it's the degree, like it yeah. got 10 degrees hotter walking through this lava it's rock field. Hotter, but the beach is gonna be worth it. I can see it from here and yeah. the water is Crystal popping. blue, it's very blue. And I've never had to walk through a lava rock field to get to a beach, so there's something off of uh, my bucket list. <laughs> it was it on your bucket list? It is now, ticking <laughs> it off. Tick it off. It's so pretty. Is this it? No, we're halfway there, almost there. So we have to keep walking. You gotta keep walking, yeah, halfway. The beach is right here. I mean, there is a beach right here, but the beach we're looking for, is, still is, gotta keep going. Okay. All right. Almost there. Yeah, I've almost rolled my ankle like three times. It's gonna be worth it. I'm just thinking about on the way back. I just think. Well, now you know what to expect. <laughs> it's always shorter on the way back. Is it? Of course. Yeah. Look, that's, we only have to go that further, that much further. I can't see the beach anymore, so. It's out there. Well, we have officially hit sand. I am dripping with sweat. We've hit sand, which is a good sign. I can hear the waves. I still can't see the beach, but Danny says we're getting close. We're close, we're close. We're closing in on it. I can smell it. I'm gonna just run straight into the water and then suck down all my water. Oh, guaranteed. <laughs> it's hot, it's steamy out. It's so hot. Trust me, it's gonna be worth it. He keeps saying that. definitely what worth it very worth it the worth water it. is so clear and we're the only ones out here found this little cove and it's really this amazing this is awesome definitely worth the hike across the lava field worth the walk hike it was worth the hike 
The water is so clear and it feels so good. Dan was saying that this is probably one of the nicest beaches we've ever been to. I think so. Yeah. Just with the, the color of the water, the blue sky, the white sand beach, and no one around. Yeah, it's pretty, this is pretty, pretty epic. exclusive. All right, we've been here for a little over an hour. Yeah. Are you wishing that we brought like snacks and stuff? Uh, for sure, but <laughs> we had to pack light. Yeah, we had to pack light, but you know what I did pack? I packed these little babies. <laughs> Noms? Yeah, there's only a few left, so. These are amazing, we found them. Where did we find these? Oh, at the ABC store. No. Yeah. Oh, we found these at the ABC store and they are so freaking good. They're like gushers covered in Lee Hing powder and lemon peel. They're like sweet and tart and freaking good. You see how yummy this looks? Ooh. Those are fire. And I am reading this book. I actually didn't even bring a book with me on this trip. I found this book in a condos that we're staying at. It has like a little shared library in the lobby. And I found this and I remember reading this years ago, like before I even had kids, I feel like. And I love this author and I've read this book before, but I'm, I'm excited to read it again. It's such a good beach read. And I don't, I mean, I know we keep saying this over and over, this little secluded beach is absolutely gorgeous, but I mean, it just feels so amazing to just lay here and not have to really do anything, <laughs> not have to worry about anything and actually get to just lay on the beach. Even though I fiercely miss my girls, I just know that they would love to be here too. It is nice that Dan and I got to get away for a little bit. The girls are with their grandparents and having the time of their lives. We get photo updates every day, multiple times a day. So I know that they're having a really great time and they're being well taken care of. So that also puts my mind and body at ease. So I'm like actually really truly able to enjoy this beautiful beach day and our little vacation we're only here for five days so it's a quick trip and we didn't really plan anything we just we want we knew we wanted to do a few hikes uh, we wanted to see that waterfall from our hawaii day one vlog but the main thing on both of our lists uh, both of our to-do lists in hawaii was to beach hop and um, that's what we've been doing. We've, going, we've been going to all these different beaches. So tomorrow is our last full day. We're gonna be doing this really cool hike in the clouds. But so far, this has got to be the best beach that we've happened upon. I have to give a shout out to Dan because he's been our leader, obviously. He's the one finding all of these gems. He's looking online, he's reading a Hawaii book. Yeah, he's really putting in the research and I'm just along for the ride, <laughs> which again, when I'm back at home, I feel like I make all the decisions, you know, for myself, for the girls. And so it's been nice to not have to make any decisions and just kind of go along with the flow. All right, I'm going to get back to reading. We just got back to the car. Holy crap, I need the air on me. I can confirm the walk back is way worse than the walk out there. Watch oh, my watch is still going. Okay, we, it's uh, one mile, 1.36 miles there and back. I mean, there. So what is that round trip? It's like almost three miles, right? A little under three out, three, three hours, three miles. My camera's all sandy. Oh my goodness. We have a little bit of water left and we left our Cheez-Its in the car. So I'm about to devour this. And I don't even think we're gonna make it back to the condo. We're just gonna go straight to getting something to eat. <laughs> But what an incredible day! That beach was amazing. It was beautiful. By far one of the best, if not the best beaches we've ever been to, I think. Yeah, I agree. The sand, the color of the water. The sand was like creamy. Oh, yeah. It was so smooth. The water was so clear. I literally just laid in the oh. basking sun and it's then to took dips in the water in between reading my book. It was so dreamy, so dreamy. Now we have to drive over the lava rock to get out of here, which is another treacherous really? part, but at least there's AC and Cheez-Its. Oh. 
Hawaii day three is coming to a close. It was a good one. It was a really, I almost said the F word. It was really <laughs> freaking good was today. Really good. We had dinner at Umeki's. Umeki's. And it was bomb. That was awesome. It was so good. I got the Korean fried chicken and it was so crispy. And what did you get? The garlic shrimp. Oh yeah, that's Super right. Super garlicky. The what? shrimp was cooked to perfection. Uh, but now uh, we went home, we showered, we got ready. Uh, as best as we can. We're this still, yeah, this is it. And I got some color today. I think we both did. Um, we're headed to Shaved Ice. That's where we're going. Where else would we go? Nowhere else. <laughs> Shaved Ice acquired. Shaved Ice. So good. What well did you get this time? Pineapple passion fruit with the soft serve center. Again, obviously. Show me that soft serve center. It's amazing. We've never had, or Dan's never had soft serve in his I've never uh, even done that before. I got my standard Tiger's Blood Blue Raspberry Mochi Sweet and Condensed Drizzle on top. Snow cap, so good. Mm. So good. Cold. Yeah. Cold. This is what happens when the camera shuts off. We just sit on our balcony or lanai. Lanai. And we watch the sun set and listen to music. Uh, what do I have right now? What's it? Like a rose in a can. What are you drinking? Athletic brew. How's the sunset? Should we show them? Show them, yeah, it's popping off. Looks good. Yeah, we look good in the sunset though, don't we? Yeah, I got some color today. Yeah, you did. That's gonna wrap up our day two and day three vlog. I hope you had so much fun hanging out with us. I enjoyed bringing you all along. The highlight definitely was that last beach we went to. It was absolutely gorgeous. The shaved ice and I don't know, we've just been having such a relaxing last few days here. So we have big plans for tomorrow is our last full day here in Hawaii. So of course we'll be vlogging that. So stay tuned. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do so. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.